What's up you guys, I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics and today I'm bringing you another coaster battle. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but this is one battle I get requested a lot, and that's Time Traveler vs Outlaw Run. Outlaw Run has been the king of Silver Dollar City for many years now, and since Time Traveler opened earlier this year, many people are asking which one is better. I'm going to give you guys a complete rundown of the stats, the theme and elements, and the pros and cons of each coaster, and let you know which one I think is overall better. Just like my other battles, your opinions will count as well. I want you guys to vote in the comments which coaster you think is better. I'll share the results to your answers in my next coaster battle video. In the last battle, you guys disagreed with me and voted Mystic Timbers to be better than Renegade 20 to 11. Find out which coaster wins this battle starting now. Outlaw Run opened in 2013 and is a wood topper track coaster built by RMC. It has a max height of 107 feet with a drop of 162 feet and a top speed of 68 miles per hour. Outlaw Run features three inversions on its 2,937 feet of track for a total ride time of 1 minute and 27 seconds. Now Time Traveler opened in 2018 as a launch spinning coaster built by Mack Rides. This coaster has a max height of 100 feet with a drop of 90 feet and a top speed of 50 miles per hour. Time Traveler features three inversions on its 3,020 feet of track for a total ride time of 1 minute and 57 seconds. So as you can tell, both rides are very different. However, they do have slight similarities in stats with the inversions, track length, and overall ride time. Where they are both very different is in the theme and elements though. Outlaw Run features a huge 81 degree drop that is one of the steepest on any wooden roller coaster. Its first inversion is actually a 150 degree highly overbanked turn, followed by a double up, a double down, and its awesome wave turn. Its signature elements and final two inversions are the double heartline rolls, which are arguably the best part of the ride. Outlaw Run features a western stagecoach theme that is very well done. The station is meant to look like a stagecoach depot. Your job as the rider is to protect the stagecoach from the outlaws. Time Traveler features spinning trains and dives right out of the station with its 90 degree drop. The ride features three inversions which are a dive loop, a vertical loop, and a zero G roll. Time Traveler also features two mid-course LSM launches. The first is 0 to 47 miles per hour in 3 seconds. The second is 30 to 45 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Time Traveler has a fantastic time theme. The queue and station are decorated with clocks, giant gears. The trains are very futuristic looking and they feature this awesome scrolling time dial on the front of every car. Overall one of the best themed roller coasters I've ever seen. Now it's time for pros and cons. Outlaw Run is one of the smoothest wooden roller coasters out there with the use of its topper track, especially in the front seat. The ride features some solid airtime moments and the RMC trains are very comfortable. It's a very intense and thrilling coaster and usually has little to no wait times, at least when I've been there. The inversions are fantastic and makes the ride extremely memorable. I can't think of any cons for this coaster, although I will say when I rode it in the back last time I did feel a little bit bumpy for some reason. Other than that, the ride is nearly perfect in my eyes. Time Traveler is also a high thrill coaster, but not as intense. I'd say it definitely appeals to a larger audience. Time Traveler also provides a memorable experience both with the ride and the theming while waiting in the queue. Of course, you can't forget about the awesome inversions, launches, and overbank turns. The spinning trains are what make this coaster unique. The use of these trains provide a different experience every time, which makes it a lot more re-rideable. The trains are also a con since there are a lot of people who won't like this ride because of the spinning. Still, this is just a minor con since the spinning isn't all that intense and it doesn't leave you dizzy, at least in my opinion. So as you guys can see, these are two completely different rides. Both of these coasters are world class and are near the top of the rankings in their respective categories. In fact, I have Outlaw Run as my current number one wood coaster. For me, determining the winner of this battle is tough. I asked myself if the gates of Silver Dollar City opened in front of me right now, which coaster would I run to first? As you guys know, I appreciate a unique and well themed roller coaster. So in the end, I chose the winner of this battle to be Time Traveler. I had a blast on this coaster when I rode it in March earlier this year. It really is one of the best and most unique roller coasters here in the United States. As much as I love Outlaw Run, the fact is I've rode nearly every RMC here in the country. It's an amazing ride, but at the end of the day, you could find a similar RMC experience pretty much all over the country now. You are not going to find a spinning coaster on the level of Time Traveler anywhere else but Silver Dollar City. It's very thrilling, it's memorable, and it's a ride just about the whole family can experience. 
Outlaw Run won the award for Best New Ride in 2013. I believe Time Traveler is worthy of that same award for 2018. It's been an awesome year for roller coasters. If Steel Vengeance didn't open this year, I'd say Time Traveler could win it just like Outlaw Run did. More than likely it's not going to happen, but in my eyes Time Traveler is now the best ride at Silver Dollar City, and wins this very close coaster battle. Now that's enough with what I have to say. I want to hear what you guys think. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section and cast your votes for this battle. Do you guys like Time Traveler or Outlaw Run more? I'll share the results to your answers in my next coaster battle video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you're new around here, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you all in the next coaster battle very, very soon.